Hey guys, it's me, Rocky with Building a Blogger. I'm so excited to have you here for today. Uh, we've got the latest, greatest kind of blogger news going on and a few tips that are definitely here to help you with your blog. So you definitely don't want to miss this episode, so stay tuned. Santa guy. Some of you guys know me already. A lot of people know me as Rocky. Um, we're not going to get caught up with introductions. I am the owner of Just Add That, a website that is geared toward you and your writing style. So anything that I'm going to do, I'm going to help you in this building a blogger series to make you the best blogger that you can be. So today I want to talk to you about a little bit of insecurities when it comes to writing. So lately I've had a lot of people who have been writing to me and reaching out to me. They're like, I've thought about making a blog. I've thought about having a website. I've thought about you know starting my own business, but I don't know to go from here so the very first thing i tell you guys is the best place to start is just to dive right in um some people are hesitant about costs i know when i started i was terrified because you always hear about these websites some are you know a few dollars all the way up to thousands of dollars and not everybody's got that sitting around so my best advice on where to start would be to start with a free website. So my two favorites that I have, there are way more out there and you're welcome to try any of the ones in the platform that you want, are WordPress and the other one that I have is Blogger. So WordPress is its own entity. There are two WordPresses, there's WordPress.com and WordPress.org. I recommend um, WordPress.org because there's more people involved, but sometimes it does tend to come with smaller fees. Um, but at the same time, you're not alone. You've got a whole community to go along uh, with it. And so you've got plenty of places to ask questions. If you're looking just for a domain name, you feel like, okay, I'm going to go it alone. And you might want to try WordPress.com. That's the difference thing. It's really like more of a solo. That's actually where I started. But that was because I didn't understand the difference between the two. Um, but it is 100% free. You get your domain. So like my original thing, domain starting out was just at that dot wordpress.com. And um, over time, I decided to invest in my own. Um, but that's, that's another subject way down the line. So what happened later on is I found out about blogger. Blogger is through Google. Um, well, I don't like how the interface works as well as WordPress. What I did like about it is Google domains only cost $12 a year at least for my domain. It depends on the name that you want, on the prices, because if it's a popular name or it's been used before, the price is going to go up on it. Um, just that that, in my experience, was one that wasn't used very often or anything. And so it was only $12 when I started out. It's not the case now. <laughs> but um, it was a $12 domain. And I went through Blogger, and I liked the platform at first, but I found it kind of difficult to understand and navigate a lot of the pages. So if you're looking for just a platform to start, those are my two favorites that I recommend. The next thing I recommend is I want you to start writing about things that you're interested in. So a lot of people don't know my backstory. Some people do. Um, I actually started out as a coupon blogger. love couponing so much. But I found out I hate writing about couponing with a passion. Something about when I put my ideas to the paper or the keyboard, um, the reality of it is I personally just didn't feel like it was a good fit. So with that being said, um, I started talking about parenting blogging because I, I like being a parent, I've been a mom. My oldest is 10, my youngest is 7 as I'm making this video. And um, there's, there's a lot of things that are... That are good about being a parent, but I found out over time that maybe parenting blogging wasn't my kind of niche either. I found more people, I have these awesome friends uh, that kind of came to me with questions about um, their, their writers and authors, and they said, why don't you come out, you know, you write about things, and I was like, well, I'm trying, but I don't, I don't know my topic or my niche, so the more I thought about it, the more I talked with my friends, the more I realized I had a lot of people that were coming to me asking questions, how do I do this, how do I start a blog, how do I do that, and I thought, you know what? I have learned all this stuff <laughs> over the last few years. I'm still trying to find my niche. Maybe that should be my niche. And that's how Just That That was born. So Just That That is kept the name because, you know, some people already have ideas. 
So you're adding an idea here, you're adding an idea there. Um, you already have maybe a website and a store, but you don't have a blog to go along with it. So you want to add that to your storefront. Or maybe you're like, well, I have a, I have a blog, but I don't have anything else. You want to add things like affiliate marketing or ways to monetize your website or, you know, how do I get, grow my following? So, you know, just that that is all about adding those little details and adding better writing um, to a platform where you have okay pieces and you're like, I think I can make that piece better. That looks more like two or three articles to me instead of one. So, yeah, that's what... I wanted to do with just that, that. So the third piece of advice I'm going to give you guys is to actually get started. So many people are the coulda, woulda, shouldas. I heard this quote one time. I don't remember who said it. But the saddest thing about a graveyard is all the lost potential. Every time somebody passes away, they haven't all passed down the information. We are in the information age right now. They'll call it something else in 100 years, 200 years, 300 years. But right now, in what we're calling it is the information age where we are documenting, we are making things happen. So there's no time like the present to begin your blog or your website. I'm Roxana Guy, and I hope that you'll come back again and you'll join us for building a blogger. Have a great day. Bye, guys.